Hi everyone, my name is Julie Curran. I work for Great Falls Construction and you're standing here on the edge at Berwick site uh, located in the, in the Berwick Village Center. Um, and I'm here to give you a brief update of what we've done to date on site and what's to come. And further on in the update, I'll introduce you to our environmental engineer who is here as well. So to kick things off, just to give you an update on 12 Sullivan Street, you're likely familiar with that uh, white building that um, is on Sullivan Street across from the town hall. That is an eight tenanted commercial building of which seven businesses are occupying the space uh, and one is still available for lease. Um, the seven businesses in there, in case you're not familiar, include Bad Wolf Butcher, Domino's Pizza, uh, Mint Dental, Moi Salon, uh, Primal Fit, and we have a daycare at, in there as well, Tree Frog Learning Center. So those are our great tenants. We're really excited to welcome them, uh, not only to the Berwick community, but also the Edge and everything that's to come here uh, moving forward. So speaking of what's to come, um, the building that you may or may not have seen if you've driven past the site recently, that's behind me here, the mustard colored building uh, is known as 8 Main Street. 8 Main Street um, has uh, 12 units total, two commercial, 10 residential. We've got folks living in there um, right now and a, a few apartments still available. We also have uh, Pretty Little Face occupying one of the commercial units and then a vacant unit uh, that's available for lease. So that's 8 Main Street, which is really exciting. It's the first Main Street building in Berwick. So we're really excited for that progress and to have folks, folks using and enjoying that space. Uh, the next building that we're, our team is hard at work on is behind me right now. Um, that's Three School Street. That is the uh, future Aroma Joe's building and we will have a chiropractor in that space as well. Uh, that building has seven uh, uh, residential uh, apartments in it, uh, four of which are two bedrooms and the remainder are one bedroom. So that uh, they're hard at work as you can see um, behind me and we anticipate that to be done sometime this winter. Um, so moving into what's next, um, our team has been working really hard on the design for what's going to be the future 16 and 18 Sullivan Street. Those are located on the north side of Main Street, um, approximately across from where the municipal parking lot is next to the town hall. Those are two 12 unit buildings, uh, 12 unit apartment buildings. So those will be hopefully, uh, we'll see how quick winter arrives here in Maine, but the hope is to get started on those sometime in November or early December, so long as the snow and weather um, cooperates. So, uh, and then finally to round out phase two, which is the phase that we're currently well underway on, we have um, nine school street, which is going to be in between eight main street and three school street. And the plans for those are not yet uh, underway, but we expect uh, as soon as we get started with 16 and 18, that will roll into nine school. What that uh, will be, it remains a little bit TBD right now, but it will be um, one commercial unit on the bottom floor with likely, uh, I think it's four residential apartments above uh, plus or minus. So that is uh, what we're doing in phase two. I think another important phase two update uh, that you may or may not have seen is Main Street. So Main Street was uh, paved and is in place and being utilized, which is really exciting uh, for the community and, and for the progress on the edge. We also have Edgeway, which uh, sits perpendicular to both Main Street and Wilson Street. And so that, that is built and put in. So a lot of the site, the underground site infrastructure and the permanent cover system um, has been laid in many areas, which is a great segue uh, to introduce you to Rick Vandenberg, who is our environmental engineer from Crideri, to give a brief update on the environmental piece of the project. To update you on the environmental work that's been happening on the property, behind you you see 8 Main Street and then you also see 3 School Street. In addition, you see many other uh, finished surfaces, including parking areas um, and other future green, green spaces. The building, to get back to the buildings, the buildings have subslab depressurization systems that are installed. And uh, for 8 Main, that system is currently operating and protecting the, the residents and fu from uh, future commercial occupants of that building. The, the, uh, the paved areas that you see and the green spaces all have, are, are installed on top of an environmental cover system, which consists of a marker layer, eight inches of clean granular fill, and four, either four inches of loam and seed or asphalt or pavers. You know, even the, walks, even the walkways 
that you see throughout the edge property include are parts of the environmental cover system. So all these things are intentionally being brought in as elements that look like civil design elements, but they're also protections and they're also part of our the environmental project. Um, that's it.